Your subconscious does not know the difference between the truth and a lie. All it knows is what you consume. So the problem is you try to change your life, but you're still consuming BS. So your subconscious is like, oh no, but this is who we really are. Why? Because this is what we do. So, I so you want to rebrand this summer. You want to become a new individual or reinvent yourself. Well, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to do it in this video and also explain what's probably been holding you back. So let's get straight into it. First, we want to focus on how you want to be contrary to who you want to be. Because who you want to be is somebody with a good body. Who you want to be is somebody with a million dollars, a good bank account, all these other things. And that's great, but it's very imperative that we focus on the how because that's probably been holding you back. You know who you want to be. You just don't know how to get there. So in this video, I want to explain to you how to do that mentally so you can become that person that automatically achieves those things instead of just becoming the person that achieves those things. For example, if you focus too much on the who, right? So you want to be someone who gets a nice body. So you're like, I have to get this nice body. My birthday trip is coming up. I'm going to Jamaica. I want to look nice. So you're going to work out. You might eat healthy. You might even get the body that you want to get. But after being there for a week, eating the food, drinking, not working out, when you come back, if you focus too much on the who during that process and not the how, you are not going to work out anymore. Because who you wanted to be was somebody that got a good body for their birthday, but your birthday's done. You didn't focus on how are you actually going to get there. And the how is just becoming a healthy person. You see the difference? And so a good analogy of this is, I don't know if you guys had them growing up, but those people who now that you're older, it just makes sense, right? For example, I went to school with a girl in middle school, high school, and she was very organized and meticulous. She had a planner. She had her notes color coordinated. She was meticulous about homework, time, all those other things. I say that now she's becoming a surgeon and it makes sense to me. She's won awards, accolades, all these other things. And it makes sense. The issue is, well, it wasn't the issue. The thing was time just didn't catch up with her yet. She was already that girl. She was already that person. And now she's just receiving the the reward of being that person. She already had the how. She was already doing it. And now she's becoming who she was supposed to be, if that makes any sense. And so how we're going to do that is with something called neuroplasticity in our brains. And I'm going to explain to you the definition of it. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to change and adapt due to experience. It is an umbrella term referring to the brain's ability to change, reorganize, and grow neural patterns. So basically what it's saying is, it's your brain's ability to do new things. Your brain can literally grow. A lot of people think it can. We think once we get to a certain age or we get to a certain, you know, point of our life, our brain doesn't grow. And it actually can. But the thing is, it has to grow through experience. You have to introduce it to new things for it to grow. Similar to going to the gym, right? If you go to the gym today and you try to pick up a 300 pound weight with one arm, you're probably not going to be able to pick it up. The same thing with trying to do the, your self-growth journey and reinvent yourself. The reason why a lot of us have been on this journey so many times is because we haven't developed neuroplasticity. Our brain literally has not got enough strength, enough muscle to grow. But we're telling it basically, pick up that 300 pound weight. Why can't you pick up that 300 pound weight? And our brain is literally like, I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough. So in this video, I want to explain to you guys how to get your brain stronger to be able to reinvent yourself and become who you want to become and not not just achieve what you want to achieve. So first, we need to realize where we are. Another thing that's really holding you back, you need to be mindful and just be considerate that your brain is just trying to keep you to survive. We have to understand a lot of the things that our brain does have been developed in us for thousands of years. Like this whole thing of becoming business owners, this whole thing of, you know, happiness and self-growth, it's fairly new in perspective of how long humans have even been around. I say that to say for thousands of years, it's been put inside of our brain literally just to survive. Like you gotta think about it during the times of the cavemen and even thousands of years after. People were hunters and gatherers. All they were supposed to do was hunt for food, build shelters and survive. With that being said, we have something inside of our brain that always is trying to help us survive. So if we need to survive, we need to be aware of danger. So our brain is constantly trying to keep us away from danger. Anytime it thinks something is danger dangerous, it keeps us away from it. And now we don't have the thing of, you know, 
fighting lions and tigers and bears, but there's still something in us that when we think we're in danger, our brain literally shuts off and it says we're not doing that thing. And we see it every single day. Think about the news, right? Or even social media blogs. People always say, oh, they only post bad stuff and it's only bad things. And why is it only bad stuff? Well, they've done studies on it before. And when they post good stuff, they don't get that much commotion. They don't get that much attention. But when they post bad things, they get more attention. And it's not because we live in a bad world. It's simply because our brains are wired for survival. We're literally always constantly like, how to survive, how to survive, how to survive, how to survive. So of course, our brain goes more towards the bad things because that's telling our brain, hey, be aware of this so we can survive. You get what I'm saying? And the good stuff, our brain is like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. If you get what I'm saying, similar to thousands of years ago, if they're walking along a terrain and it's no animals or they just see little tiny bugs or whatever, that's fine. Okay, that's good. The the, the butterflies, the trees, whatever. As soon as they see a bear on alert, that's danger. That's similar to us now. The thing is, your brain right now is in survival mode. That's why your brain is okay with just working your nine to five for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter how much money you make. Your brain is basically telling you, hey, we have shelter. Hey, we have water. Hey, we have food. You should be happy with that because your brain is still in survival. So when you try to introduce things such as getting your body together or growing a business or focusing on self-development, your body and your brain essentially is kind of like, but why does that matter? No, we don't need to care about those things. We don't need those things to survive. So there's two things inside of you. There's the brain that you have already that's telling you everything you have is fine. You just need to survive. And then there's the new brain that you're trying to develop where neuroplasticity, where you want your brain to be like, hey, this workout, hey, this business, hey, whatever I want to do is just as important as having a shelter. It's just as important as having, you know, food on the table. Because if your brain sees something as being more important, it's going to favor it. And eventually, it's just going to dull that thing out. So that's where you are now. I say all that to say your brain is in survival mode. So don't be mad at it or don't be like, why can't I grow? Why can't I? It's your brain literally just trying to keep you alive and it's trying to keep you surviving. But we need to get out of that. And so how are we going to get out of that? The first step is figuring out once we step out, where are we going to go? You need to have direction. And sometimes people will tell you you need a specific destination. I think eventually you do need a destination. But I think when you're literally just trying to come out of something and reinvent yourself, you just need direction. And so one thing I recommend to do is, in a lot of my videos, I recommend to get a pencil and a paper, um, but to... Curate the life that you want for yourself. So you should have a list, a broad list of broad topics. So some topics I did were fashion. Some topics I did were music, um, food, um, hobbies, things of that sort. And then off of that topic, you know, under it, I did a little bit broader of how I want to express myself doing those things, right? So for fashion, I said I want to be more chic slash minimalistic, right? I want to do like the cute two-piece sets and things like that, you know, put together. But then I also want it to be a little chic. So I want little pops of color. Um, I want more so like, you know, accents of jewelry. When I said music, I wanted something softer. I wanted more R&B, nano R&B, like the um, Ride of Scientist, Snow Allegra, because I ain't gonna lie, I went through a time period where I was going through the trenches of the music. I don't even, anyways, I don't know why. Um, the next one, with my hobbies. I said I want to do more physical hobbies and I want to do more intellectually stimulate hobbies. Some examples of those are things such as, you know, hiking for physical and then stimulating intellectually. More so like um, puzzles and um, adult coloring books, things of that sort. And those are just rough thing even for food right I said I want to be healthier um less processed and if you noticed I didn't specifically say anything for that dressing I didn't specifically say a pair of shoes or you know article of clothing for music I mean I gave you specifics on people but I gave a genre even for eating I said healthier and the reason why you don't necessarily need to be specific and you just need a general idea of direction is because as we all know we usually what we usually want first is usually not what we want last you get what I'm saying like 
you've known that since you've grown up. Things you've wanted four or five years ago, if you would have got those things right now, you'd be like, I don't even know if I would like those things or I would want to do those things. And so I think it's imperative to have a direction you're going into when you're rebranding yourself, but you don't necessarily need a specific destination because you may not like that destination. You get what I'm saying? Like you're going into your, you know, your um, healthy journey. You're like, oh, I want to do a keto diet or I want to be vegetarian. And then you get to that point, you're like, well, maybe I don't, this doesn't feel healthy for me or this doesn't feel this way. You get what I'm saying? This doesn't feel that way. So I think try things as you go, of course, but I think having a direction makes it a little easier. And then you could kind of pivot and change this way or change that way. But I say that to say you don't need specific things. People always make it seem like you do. And I personally don't think you do. Next, you need to take away all the things that remind you of your old life. I think this is one of the most imperative things to do because like I said, your brain is craving comfortability with survival. So things that are comfortable for your brain are literally making your brain feel like it's surviving, which is why it's hard for you to wake up early in the morning. It's hard for you to introduce the gym, introduce new things, because your brain literally is having the same feeling as if thousands of years ago, somebody would be encountered with a bear. Like, I want you to understand that you waking up hour two three hours early your brain is going through the same feeling expressing the same emotions you know cortisol levels as if someone saw a lion thousands of years ago because your brain is under stress your brain is like no we don't do this your brain is trying to survive and new things cause your brain to grow new things repeatedly cause your brain to have to turn that into a normal and so i think it's very imperative to understand that in the beginning, it's going to be hard. In the beginning, your brain is not going to want to do it, but it makes it even harder when you still are surrounded by the same things and you keep the same things in your life. So off of what I said about the way you want to curate your life, right, with the clothing, with the music, with the, all those things, have another side of it with the things that you're going to take away now that are a reflection of the life that you have now that you want to get rid of. So even for me, a lot of my clothes, I, I got rid of. Like, I'm just like, I'm not into the Forever 21 fashion no more. I've had this these shirts, these all these things for like five, six years. Like, I need to get rid of them. But the music, I had to delete some songs. I literally had to create a whole new playlist so I don't have to keep looking for songs. It's like, okay, I can just play this playlist. I can add stuff to it. But you get what I'm saying? Um, with the food, I had to stop buying certain things when I went to the grocery store. Now I even go to the grocery store with a specific list of the food that I'm cooking for the week. So I only buy that food, right? I say that to say, you need to take away those things. And also you need to understand what, the way it works with your subconscious, right? Your subconscious brain is the one that makes you do things. So even subconsciously, right? And I use my hands a lot in the videos. If you guys notice, I don't do it on purpose. It's a subconscious thing, right? Your subconscious only knows what it's surrounded by and what you put into it. I say that to say, if you are constantly surrounding yourself with new things, eventually your subconscious brain is going to think this is who you are. Your subconscious brain doesn't know the difference between a truth and a lie. But if you constantly put things or keep things in your subconscious brain that are a reflection of your old life, it's going to be like, oh, that's still us. I mean, yeah, we might be trying to do little stuff, but and you're going to revert back to your old self. Why? because your subconscious is seeing all those things. For example, a good way to think of it is, I don't know if you guys ever known those people or seen those people, right? It might be like a, for example, like an urban neighborhood, right? It might be a girl who likes anime. Nobody around her likes anime. Nobody around her listens to anime. But when she's at home, what does she do? She watches anime, she reads comic books, she listens to that kind of, you know, music that they would listen to. What is she doing to her brain? She's confirming to her brain, yes, around us may look like this, but what we're consuming is who we truly are. So her brain is going to act like that. So her subconscious is going to make her dress different. She might talk different. She, she's probably going to walk different and act different from people who don't consume what she consumes, if that makes any sense. So that's why it's imperative to do things to confirm to your subconscious brain who you are. The things that you do now, as far as even sometimes the places that you go, right? I always tell y'all, try to go to new grocery stores, try to go to new neighborhoods to make your brain feel like this is me. This is us. This is who we are. Your brain is not going to be like, but we live here, but we do this, but we do that. Because eventually you're filling it up so much with stuff that it's like this, 
no, but this is who I am. Yeah, I live in this neighborhood, but I'm this girl. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? I go to this school, but I'm this girl. Why? Because you're constantly filling it up with stuff that confirms that. And another great way to do that is with um, social media. I always tell you guys, try to listen to podcasts, books, music, stuff like that. But another good one too is I started a manifestation Instagram page. And on this page, I only follow individuals that are a reflection of the person I want to be, but for all categories. So for fashion, I follow pages that are people who dress how I want to dress or maybe uh, fashion pages that curate outfits. I follow health and wellness pages. I follow business pages. I'm a content creator. So I follow content creation pages, right? all categories of who I want to be. So on a constant basis, I'm constantly confirming to my brain, this is who I am. This is who we are. This is what we do, right? Consistently. And also on this page, I post as if I'm already doing the things that I want to do to make my subconscious think this is who we are. So I make posts like, oh my gosh, I just hit 1 million followers on YouTube. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. Da, 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 da. And I post as if this is a real post. I post things such as, oh my gosh, I'm speaking in front of hundreds of thousands of people today for this speaking engagement for Forbes. I'm so excited. And I'm telling my brain, this is who we are. Like I said, your subconscious does not know the difference between the truth and a lie. All it knows is what you consume. So the problem is you try to change your life, but you're still consuming BS. So your subconscious is like, oh no, but this is who we really are. Why? Because this is what we do. So I think it's very imperative to take things out of your life that confirm to your subconscious who you are if that's no longer who you want to be. And one of the final things I want you to understand during this process, there is not a balance. I think a lot of people want to do like the work life balance and the home life balance and all these balances. When you are trying to become a new person, you cannot have a balance. I'm telling you that now. You cannot have a balance because that balance is going to confirm to your subconscious again that this is who you truly are. I recommend to try to do this for the summer. So try to do this for 60 days, 90 days. But during this time period, the music that you said you're not listening to, that we said we're taking out of our life, that confirms us who we are, you cannot listen to it. The TV shows, you cannot watch them. The, the, the way you dress, you cannot do those things anymore. There is no balance. We need to change ourselves. We need to reinvent. And what messes up a lot of people, and it's happened to me before, we have moments of weakness. We have moments of feeling like, oh no, I've been doing this for like 30 days. I've been doing this for like 25 days. I could go back. Like, I could listen to this music. I could. You're going to be messed up because that's what your brain is waiting for you to do. It's waiting for you to be weak. It's waiting for you to be like, oh no, I'm. And it happens when you think you're the most comfortable, it happens when you think you're the most consistent. Because you have the confidence of, no, 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 I'm already, no, I go to the gym like almost four or five times a week. I'm good. I could do this, is that. No, you can't. And during this process, to help you keep this unbalanced, right? Because we need to be in the direction of who we want to be. It don't need to be a balance. It need to be the where we want to go and who we were. There, mm -mm. We need to put this above it. You need to constantly be asking yourself with everything you're doing, are my actions getting me farther or closer away to the person that I want to become? Because we already have a list of the person that we want to become. Ask yourself that. When you are doing things, you need to consistently on autopilot ask yourself, is this getting me closer or farther away from the person that I want to become? Because what happens to a lot of us as well is we subconsciously start acting like our old self. We subconsciously go back to our old self because we're not thinking about the person that we want to become. And that's why I recommend to have the manifestation pages. That's why I've recommended on multiple videos to do life scripting, right? Write as if you're already that person and it's a journal entry. I do that. And that's another great thing to do to figure out exactly what you need to be doing. If you're writing in your journal, life scripting, let's say two, three years in the future, I'm waking up at 6 a.m. and I'm going to da -da -da work out. If you waking up at 9 a.m. and you you rushing to go to work, you're getting the your actions are getting you farther away from the person that you want to be. And don't look at it as oh, just doing. It's either farther or closer. I think sometimes we look at stuff as just doing, or I'm just being. No, 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 no. When you do bad things, that's getting you farther and farther away. When you are do doing good things, it's getting you closer and closer. There is no just stop. There is no middle. That's why I said there is no balance as well, right? Do not think of it as, well, I want to balance and I have to be balanced. And blah, blah, blah. You can't. You literally have to grow your brain. You have to make your brain think that this is my new life and it's going to think of it through new experiences. You have to have a new normal. 
You cannot keep doing that. If you're doing the same things that you were doing before, your brain is not going to grow. You have to cause your brain to experience new things so your brain literally thinks it's a new person. Like your brain, your subconscious literally has to think it's a new person. And you're going to have to practice this under high amount of stress for a long period of time for your brain to really be like, I'm reinventing. It's literally, you're literally shedding your old shell and becoming a new person. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But I understand wanting to reinvent yourself. And I understand summertime was a great time. It's warm outside. It's something about that glow. It's something about that feel, waking up in the morning and seeing the sun. But I want you to understand this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of you leveling up your life. This is just the beginning of you changing yourself and reinventing yourself with starting with your brain and starting with how you're doing things and starting with your thought process behind things, right? Because it's so easy to be like, oh, I want to reinvent myself and make this money and get this body. But I want you to understand if you focus on how you're doing those things, if you focus on, you get what I'm saying, who the person that you have to become to do those things, you're going to get it. You're going to get it, but you don't always have to focus on specifically what you have to do and specifically what you have to get. You're you're going to become that girl. Like you're already going to do it. Like you're you're going to wake up and see those things. You're going to wake up and experience those things and it's going to become normal for you. But right now it's not. Right now you're in survival and right now you need to get out of it by using neuroplasticity by literally growing your brain. And it's going to be hard. I'm telling y'all now, your brain is literally going to tell you, we don't want to do this. We're dying. No, we're on fire. Your brain's going to feel like that when it when you're working out, when you're waking up early, when you're eating healthy. But you have to consistently do those things and understand we're okay. Confirm to your brain, we're okay. This is normal with us. You, you see, see, look at the podcast you watch. See, look at the grocery stores we go to. See, look at the environments we're in. We're, it's normal for us. Constantly conf- make your brain feel okay. Your brain is stressed. Your brain is scared. Cater to your brain and your brain will cater to you. I promise you it will. So thank y'all so much and have a great one again. And don't forget to like, comment, comment, comment. I love when you guys comment. And of course, subscribe if you like this video. And don't forget to check back for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Have a great one.